So today's session is for educational purposes only and all trading and investing has involves risk. And we at Bar Chart recommend that you consult with a professional financial advisor to see if you have the ability to bear risk in the light of your financial condition. And under no circumstances shall we be liable for any losses or damages incurred as a result of trading or investment activity that you or anyone else engages in based on any information or material you receive through barchart.com. Here's Campbell's soup. I mean, this is kind of interesting. Here we see Campbell's soup has been in a dominant downtrend, and today we're getting that MACD crossover, right? We're still kind of negative in terms of our valuations of our MACD lines, but the momentum here, the histogram is telling us the momentum of this downtrend is slowing. Now we're getting a positive price momentum. And you can see that in terms of Campbell's soup, what it's doing today. But this is what we kind of want to look for, right? Think about what I just said, what we just kind of filtered for. We can see we're in a six-month chart, and we made a six-month low over here. And notice that our MACDs down here are very low, our MACD values. And then price came back down and tested that six-month low. Matter of fact, it actually went just a little bit below that and held. And during that time when it held, you can see our MACDs were going down, but they didn't go below our six-month low. So in this sense, this downtrend from this low to this low has lost a lot of momentum. This is called a positive divergence, and this is what we want to see when we're looking for buying opportunities, when we're doing kind of bottom picking in this sense, where our market has made a new low or tested a previous low, but the MACD is not making a new low. It's not confirming this downtrend. And matter of fact, in this case, it's telling us this downtrend is losing its momentum. So this is a great way to use MACD in terms of finding a buying opportunities. Now, I'm not going to stop there, right? I want to also kind of take a moment and look at a bigger picture and a smaller picture in terms of MACD. So first of all, let's go to a smaller picture, in other words, smaller time frame. And this is a one month, and the one month default is 60 minutes. And again, you can see on our one month, 60 minute time frame, our MACD has already turned positive. We already got a buy signal a couple of days ago, and actually one day ago. And now our trend is really accelerating, right? A confirmation that at this time frame, uh, we are getting a lot of strength in this momentum. Now, again, look what has happened here in this downtrend in the 60-minute time frame. We made this low down here. There it is. And we tested this low, but the MACD didn't go as far down. So it's telling us that this downtrend momentum has changed. And not only has it changed, but it was a signal right there that we maybe are starting to see an uptrend. Now let's go jump higher. Let's go up to a weekly chart. And again, here we see a little bit of different story in terms of our positive conversions. We still see that our weekly trend is down, but again, our histogram is telling us at the weekly level, this weekly trend is losing momentum. And we haven't gotten the crossover yet, that buy signal at the weekly level, but we see it in the short term, we see it in the intermediate term. So as an investment trader, you might wait in this case 
for the positive conversions or a positive crossover to give you permission to buy this stock. If you're a swing trader or a day trader, you've already gotten that permission from the MACD signal. So this is why it's kind of important for us to do this process, not only just to look at it at the daily level, which is what the buy signal is created on this page, but do that, look at the lower time frame, look at the higher time frame. Now, what I see here is probably what we need to do is but only need maybe one more day and get above this resistance and maybe break this trend line. And that might be that extra uh, signal that you would need or confirmation that give you permission when you get that weekly crossover.